guys you will not even believe where i am at i am at the very park that i used to sleep in when my mother first kicked me out guys i can't even believe it i'm in a different part i don't know if you guys can see but all the way over there in the distance that bench over there was the bench that i slept in the first couple of nights that i was homeless at the age of 13. and here i am at the age of 30 at the scene of like the place where it all started I'm like almost tempted to go back to like that home. It's crazy. Like, it goes to show me that like, I'm not nowhere near where I wanna be in life, but it all started with a little girl sleeping on a bench here in this very park, Highland Park. It's crazy guys, it's so, so crazy to see how life comes full circle. Back then, I was worrying about how I was gonna stay warm, what I was gonna eat, how was I going to change my outfit so that when I went to school to have breakfast, they wouldn't make fun of me, you know? Like, just stuff that I was worried about, like, at the age of 13, and I mean, honestly, guys, I got, almost kidnapped right up that hill right there like i almost got kidnapped here well i didn't almost get kidnapped guys i got kidnapped i got put into a van by two men when i was 13 and thank god you know i was able to get out of that situation um if you guys want to hear that story i can explain that to you some other time but it's so crazy like i'm literally here i'm sitting here on my 30th birthday and I needed this. I needed this grounding moment to realize that like, maybe it took me to come back to this place to realize that I never, that I'm not this girl anymore. I'm not this girl that was left on this bench. I'm, I'm not this girl anymore. I'm so much more and I ha I'm so much greater and I, I don't know, maybe it took me back to, maybe it takes me to go back to where I was at my lowest to realize how far I truly have come. And, you know, we measure success in, you know, in comparison to other people all the time. But when I look at my life and I dissect it and I reflect and I'm like, damn, at the age of 13, I was sleeping on a bench here in this very park. And at the age of 30, I may be staying, you know, I'm being, I may be staying in people's houses and couch surfing, but I'm not on this bench anymore. I'm not that 13 year old girl anymore. I have lived my life worrying about how other people have perceived me and I don't care. Like I'm done apologizing for my transness. I'm done apologizing for my life. I mean, what would this have all meant if I just continue on allowing other people to shape my perception of myself? Like, it's terrible. You know, just today, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, my, my hair is wet. It's not poofy. I look a little masculine and I got a hoodie. But then I realized if my womanhood is based on my hair and my outfit, then do I truly, truly believe that I'm a woman? Do I truly, truly understand that? Do I truly, truly embody that? You know, and I'm just being honest. I feel like I've always been a woman, no matter what. So why have I wrapped my feminine identity to other people's perception of femininity and what, what it means to be a woman? I've accepted people's labels of how they perceive, they expect me to be. You know, the world only validates the trans women that are passable, that are fishy, that are cunty, that nobody, unspookable. We've, we put such value on those girls and there's so many women that, you know, are all trying to achieve this singular look of what they believe is perfection. But do you truly, truly feel that way? Or are you being brainwashed and, and, and have other people's insecurities impose on you and now that shaped how you perceive yourself you know and I don't want to be that anymore I want to feel 
just as beautiful right here, right now, you know, as I do in a, in a ball gown and in a dress. And we need to let go of this, like, closed-minded perception of what, you know, it means to be you in general, you know? Like, we, we, we internalize so many other people's insecurities, and I, it's taken me 30 years to realize that I'm not the issue. Everybody else has the issue. If somebody has an issue with me and they don't agree with my lifestyle, that's not my business and that's not my problem. And I don't care. As long as you're not harming me, then go ahead and live in your ignorance. But I don't want to carry any hatred or any hurt or any anything in my life anymore but joy. I only want to embrace joy in my life. And I've lived 30 years sadly and I'm not going to live the next 30 or I want to live a long, long life and I plan to live a long, long life, you know, and I'm going to be happy and this isn't going to be the end, you know, this isn't going to be the end of me. There's only more to come and I cannot wait to start being authentically me, unapologetically. I cannot wait. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. And yes, I'm still going to go on my channel and I'm going to talk about past experiences that have molded me. But I can now talk about those things and not feel such an intense pain. I could see that as this is my journey. Just as I'm sitting on this bench, a bench that in a park that I, you know, basically lived in for two weeks, you know, before I migrated to the train. Um... There's only one way to go but up, you know? And I have to start taking control of my own destiny and how I want my life. And right now, I need you guys to like and subscribe and, you know, believe in a girl's dream. Like, believe in me. I haven't believed in myself in a really, really long time. I've been doubting myself. I have so many videos that I haven't posted. I've been censoring myself. I've just been... So afraid to go after what I want unapologetically. And you know what? Enough of that nonsense. That is getting old and tiring. And I am 30. And, you know, my age is a little up there. And it's going to continue to get up there. And just like wine, I am going to age and get better. And I cannot wait till you guys follow me on that journey of getting better and being better. And just being authentically me and on that note i'm gonna end this video on such a positive and i'm gonna sit here and reflect about just like how far i freaking came and i'm gonna soak up all this sun then i'm gonna go back home i'm gonna poof my hair out i'm gonna do my makeup and i am gonna get ready for my birthday and i'm gonna enjoy my birthday because i am alive and i am grateful to be alive and anybody who's watching this video your life is worth living not only is your life worth living, it's, more, it's worth more than just living. It's worth you thriving and being your best self unapologetically. And that's what I invite everybody to do. Be your authentic self unapologetically because you are worth it. Love you guys for watching. Bye.